Hey everybody, happy Friday. It is the Friday before Thanksgiving. Can you believe it? Boy, I can't believe it. And you know what also today is? Shipping day for my retreat to go. I can't wait to show you guys the pictures. I had boxes stacked up on my porch, almost to the roof it felt like. And so now today I'm like, oh, I need a nap. I definitely need a nap, but I have that, that post-lunch sleepiness. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where you're just like, oh my gosh, I need to lay down. I'm feeling that today for sure. <laughs> okay, good. See, seems like you guys are jumping on. Am I in the right place? I, I'm fuzzy today. You guys ever get like that where you just feel like fuzzy and you can't really do anything right? <laughs> yeah, that's been today for sure. All right. Does look like maybe I'm in the right place. Okay, good. Okay. So today, we're doing three projects with Christmas season. I've actually used this quite a bit. Um, we did something with my, uh, as a reward for some um, people on my team, we use this. Um, we, if you're in Club Create, we used the paper, the painted season paper in August, which feels like a century ago. Um, but today is Facebook Friday day, um, and I have several projects. Um, that I hope that you're going to like. Um, okay, where do I want to start? I have some really cool things to show you. So I need to like get started because the first project today took me 22 minutes to film yesterday <laughs> for the clean recording. So I'm going to run through some things and then I want to show you what I got from Stampin' Up! yesterday. I got something really amazing. Okay, so retreat to go and class to go people. Your stuff is on the way. It has been shipped. Um, retreat boxes, 95% of them shipped today. Um, here's something I did. When you make, when you do this large of volume um, kits and stuff, you make mistakes. <laughs> I mean, I try so hard, but I occasionally I make mistakes. Um, one of the pillow gifts in the box, I or I was 10 short. I only ordered. 10 less than I needed. So the girl who's making them for me um, was going to whip up 10 more for me today. So 10 of you, your boxes are going out tomorrow. But other than that, I am hoping they'll all be there before um, Thanksgiving. before Thanksgiving. Maybe, right? Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but anyway, so here's the deal. I, for the class to go, the Holly, no, the uh, pillow box class to go, and the Be Jolly card class to go. I have extra kits left over. I cut them way back before the deadline for any of these events, and I have extras. Um, there's a little bit of a snag though. The ruffled ribbon is on back order until next week, and the Be Jolly stamp set is on back order till I don't know when. So if you would like one of these class kits, email me. We'll talk about it. See which options you want. Um, if you're willing to wait a little while, um, I will have to order some things for them. Um, but I have a good number of both of these kits. So if you are interested and you missed the Be Jolly card class, it's like a stamp a stack 10 cards, this class. Um, if you are interested in that class or the pillow box class, please email me. I would love to send these kits out um, for you to use this year. Okay. Um, All-Star Tutorial Bundle, Sweet Symmetry. Uh, all of you who ordered with me this week, wow, thank you so much. This sale was really good. Um, a lot of you took advantage of the starter kit. Uh, the starter kit is on sale for $75 still today, but this, the last three days you could add discounted things to your starter kit. So you save even more. Don't even ask me to do that math. Um, but a lot of you, we had a huge number of people join our team, um, in the last three days. So the reason I went there is because I was going to say all of you who've ordered, I'm going to send you this, um, I'm going to put it over here and do it hopefully this afternoon, okay? You get this PDF for free if you spend $50 or more with me. Um, this month, it is the Sweet Symmetry suite of products. All the tutorials were designed by different um, demonstrators, 12 different projects. They're video tutorials. If you're interested in this PDF, you can also buy it in my PDF store, okay? Okay, there's that. Now, not to be confused, 
but Club Create for next month, Club Cre that's a PDF that just comes in your email. Club Create is something I mail to you. It's a kit. Um, and that kit for December also features the Sweet Symmetry, this stamp set in the annual catalog. We are not doing Christmas anymore after, <laughs> after this. Um, your December Club Create kit will probably not get there before Christmas. That's why. Um, so if you're interested in Club Create, it's $39 a month. It includes about $20 in product each month, five make and takes, video, and a PDF, and shipping, all for $39. Um, if you are interested in that, uh, there will be a link when I update this video. There's also a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create, and there's a subscription link there. Cancel anytime you want. Um, and if, But if you stay for six months, you get... Um, $25 in a product credit. I sent a lot of product credits out to, uh, today and yesterday. I think we had like 35 people claim their product credits this month. So, wow, it was amazing. Um, hopefully they all went in the right boxes <laughs> and envelopes. Um, you know, you just have no idea how crazy it can be to pack that many kits and all of them were different. They weren't all the same. They some people had classes, some people had added on products, some people had clubs, some people had uh, Facebook Friday make and takes. It was crazy. So I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, I am maybe like 90% all good. Anybody who's missing anything, of course, I will um, send it. I'm going to flip you guys around because now what I need to show you, I need to turn you around, okay? All right. Let's see. I'm going to turn you that way. Um, so paper, my paper pumpkins arrived. My poor mail lady, you should have seen her this morning, carrying tons of boxes off my porch to her truck. But she told me, I said, you want me to help you? And she said, no, no, I get paid by the steps now. I was, I was like, what? She's like, yeah, they pay us by our routes and how many steps we take. So I need all the steps I can get. I was like, okay, all right. Um, anyhow, um, she dropped all my paper pumpkin kits off and this month I'm very excited about it. I haven't opened it yet. Um, Anne Marie, I just saw you pop on. She and I were just talking about how amazing these kits are. Um, they have come a very long way in the, I don't know how many years now, six or seven years maybe that we've had paper pumpkin. This month's paper pumpkin are treats. Look at them, how cute they are. Gifts galore. Um, they're just little treat packages and you guys know I love treat packages and I especially love an easy treat package comes with, oh, flirty flamingo and a stamp set. I have extras. If you did not subscribe and you would like one, please message me. Um, they are $25 shipped and, um, I can get them out to you in time for Christmas. Okay. So please email me. I would prefer email. I never see Instagram messages. And I rarely see Facebook messages because I don't get notifications for those. So if you want to make sure I get um, your message, email me, okay? Okay, so that's that. Um, starter kit is still on sale for $75. You pick out $125 in product. Um, next month's paper pumpkin is super cute. It's lots of pun. An excellent kit for any occasion. I love a good pun. Um, you can be rest, rest assured that when my million dollar stamp set comes out next spring, it will have some puns in it. Um, anyway, if you're interested in this kit, I will have the link today. It's on, um, the PDF today. It will also be here when I update it. Okay. Okay. So before we get started, I want to show you guys, I got a special surprise in the mail. Now, if you're a demonstrator friend and you're you're a t one of the top achieving demos and you don't want to be surprised, I mean, you don't want me to spoil the surprise, then you need to not look, okay? But for everybody else, I really wanted to show you this amazing thing that I got. Um, so we had our, what do you call it? Our awards, celebrations, whatever, a few weeks ago. And everybody who ranked in the top I don't know, whatever. I don't even know how many, how many it was a top 10, top 20. I don't know. We all are getting this top achievers, um, gift and it's really cute. And I wanted to show you, um, first really cute tag. I need to save that, put it on a card. How cute would that be? All right, let me open this box and inside is a super cute little tote bag, right? So cute. It's a really nice thick canvas. Um, last 
last year we got a duffel bag and a minky blanket. Um, they surprise us every year with really cool things. It has this little scarf that you can, you know, tie on your bag or in your hair, whatever you want. And then inside, look, all of this like really cool little goodies. This little, this little thing right here is so neat. I've always wanted one of these. It organizes your bag. You know, you can pull it out and put it in another bag. I don't know what you call that, a bag organizer. And then there's all these little like handmade things um, with the Stampin' Up! logo. This one has glasses and look, the glasses say Stampin' Up! on them. <laughs> How cute! They're blue block, blue light blocking glasses. You guys, have you heard about that? It blocks the whatever the the bad stuff from screens. You can kind of even see it as they reflect. Um, but they're blue light blocking glasses. It helps your eyes um, when you're on a screen a lot. Okay. And then let's see what this one is. These are so interesting. I wonder who made these. These are really neat. This one is just a little, like a little wallet. I think maybe like a travel wallet where you can put your important things in. Um, they're, they're, it's a, like a, like a nice thick felt and like this little thing tucks in right there. So cute. All right. And then, um, <laughs> this one I liked, this is like a little grooming kit and it has, look, it even has a razor in it. I mean, what? Look, it has a little, that is really, really cool. I mean, you could take, put this in your, um, well, obviously your checked luggage, but then you would never forget. I always forget my razor when I travel. So I, I don't know. I just thought that was really, really cute. Um, tweezers. Love me some tweezers. <laughs> um, but anyway, it has a little logo on it. So that's cute. I don't know where the zipper went. Oh, well, right there. And then this one has another um, tag on it. This, we get pins for all of our, our categories that we rank in. And so I have one for each category. Let's see, this one is overall rank. I wish I could remember my, what my rank, what my numbers are. Now I can't remember. Um, <laughs> maybe number nine? I don't know. I'd have to look at my, um, they're all different. I'd have to look at my notes. Country leadership. So that's leadership with your team, team building, and sales. So this one is thanks to you guys. So I have a little bulletin board back on my wall that I like to put those on. That's, it's fun. Um, Sarah, our CEO, picked out this book for us, um, Essentialism. I, I was intrigued. Essentialism isn't about getting more done in less time. It's about getting only the right things done. I probably should read that, huh? And then this little, little bookmark. I mean, just all this really cute, you know, logo stuff. Look at this. I've always wanted one of these. These are one of those things you put on a table and then you can hang your bag so you don't have to set your bag on the floor. Love, love, love. And then there's two more things. Some cute little socks, which my girls will probably steal because they love socks. Christine, <laughs> thank you. Was I number eight? Maybe. I don't know. I have to look at my notes. I, I, oh, y'all were telling me. Well, thank you. I try not to, to dwell on it, you know, like I, I celebrate it and then I move on. Um, but thank you. For, rem for remembering. Those are really soft. I'm not a fuzzy sock girl. I, my feet get hot, but these I like. They're kind of silky. Okay, so that's that. I just thought you guys would like to see that. It was fun to get. I didn't know that it was coming. A box showed up and I thought, what's that? Stampin' Up! What did I order? I didn't order, you know, because I'm I have everything for all my kids. What is that? And then I opened it and it was a fun surprise. So not, not very often do we get fun surprises in the mail. All right. So moving on now. How about prizes? Prizes from last week. Sharon Milburn and Mindy Bruce. I feel like I have both of your mailing addresses, I think. Um, if you want to make sure I have the right one, email me, please, so that I can send these out to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video last week. Um, it is always helpful for, um, us demonstrators who do Facebook live. It helps us find new customers, which is something we're always looking for. And then this week, I'm going to give away two more seasons of fun stamp sets. Um, all you have to do is share the video. Now I forgot 
uh, I forgot to print out um, a schedule. Um, I'm going to do 12 days of Facebook Lives, um, Facebook Christmas, 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives, starting December 1st. So this will be our last Facebook Friday. I'm taking next week off. Um, so our next Facebook Friday, well, no, it won't be Facebook Friday. Our next Facebook Live will be December 1st. So I'll do December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, take Saturday and Sunday off, do one every day that week, take Saturday and Sunday off, and then I think it would be three more. So I will give away a prize each day, and we'll make projects with a different stamp set each day. Um, and... I for, I, last year I was all organized with a schedule. I'll get it. I'll post it so you guys can see it. Okay. That's going to be fun. And I have nothing planned yet. <laughs> I today started working on new plans. Okay. But so we are down to the bottom of the pile. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick a product and we make three projects with it. Then if you like those projects and you would like for me to send them to you for free, I will do that um, for free with a online order by Monday at midnight. It has to be $35 minimum and it has to use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I assume you don't want the make and takes, okay? Um, and But if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get Stamper Rewards and I will still send you the make and takes for free. Now, all of you who ordered Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're already on my list. Um, you will be getting the make and takes um, for those orders as well. All right. Um, and this is what they look like when they come. You will need the bundle. I don't do anything. I don't send these. You need the these dies, this set of dies, and this stamp set. And then I'm using some sentiment stamps because this obviously has no sayings in it. So you'll need whatever sentiment stamp sets that you um, want to use. But this is what they look like when they come. I don't do any stamping, but I will send you everything that you need so that you can do the stamping. Um, and that's just a little thank you tag. And they will come. Usually I ship them on Wednesday. Obviously, next week with Thanksgiving, things will be running probably a little bit later than usual. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Let me clean off everything. Um, you guys, it was a crazy week here. Did you guys have a crazy week? Seems like some of you are agreeing with me. It was a crazy week. There was a meteor shower. There was a full moon. It's the week before a holiday. Everything seems crazy. Now, I'm not a teacher anymore, but it was definitely, those things would have made school cuckoo <laughs> but here it was cuckoo because I was trying to get that those retreat boxes out I have worked literally from sun up to way past sundown the last four or five days to get those out and because of basketball now we're getting up at 5 a.m every morning and boy let me tell you whew, that hour that hour is I don't know why but it makes a huge difference in my level of energy in the day I'm looking forward to sleeping. I haven't slept in in a, a two, three weeks because we've had something Saturdays and Sundays. Um, so I'm looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow. You know, I'll probably sleep into like 6.50. <laughs> you know, your body gets used to it. Okay, this PDF should be live over at my blog, uh, pinkbuckgrew.com. Has anybody checked? Is it over there? Um, it has all the measurements. It has all the products that I'm using, the host code you'll need for if you want to put in order. And then look, everything that I talked about is on here too. There are links on here for all of those things, okay? All right, this first card is a little over the top. And I probably wouldn't make this card if I was going to make, if I needed 100 of them. This is a special over the top technique card. We're going to use embossing paste and we're going to use this adorning it's not adorning accent. I keep calling it the wrong thing. It's adorning. Is it just adorning mask? Okay, let's look it up. Because I just looked at it just a minute ago before we went live. And because I wrote adorning accents on the uh, PDF. Well, where's my catalog? Right here. This is the one right here. Adorning designs decorative masks. So we're going to use this one. It looks like um, candy cane stripes. And we're going to do, we're going to make a plaid with it which means that, and we're going to do embossing paste, which is going to require you to get your hands dirty. But I think it's pretty cute. Now, if you don't want to do embossing paste, I think you could do the same exact technique with your blending brushes, okay? But of course, you know, I like to do over the top. So we're going to do embossing paste. Here is the bundle. 
It's a huge bundle, lots of dies. Not only do the dies match these images, but then you've got these tag label dies, which you know me, I'm obsessed with. Um, and then these little weirdos, <laughs> which we're gonna use twice. I'm gonna show you how to use these. These uh, put little slots in your tags um, so you can put ribbon through them. And they are very easily lost, I will say that. Um, okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do that background. And I have done some of the work ahead of time because embossing paste takes time to dry. Um, if you haven't used it before, it's really fun. It's messy. Uh, it is very satisfying, as my kids say, um, but it requires kind of some quick action on your part. Where's my adhesive? And uh, I don't know, you can, we used it a couple of weeks ago. What did we make? We made something with it. And somebody said, don't forget you can tent your embossing paste. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to say that. Which is really, I think the best thing, the most fun thing to do with your embossing paste. So this is soft suede. Um, I wanted to have a neutral background so that those images will kind of pop off. The Painted Season Designer Series paper that coordinates with this is very busy. And if you put too much of that paper with these images, it just gets lost and it's a jumble. So, um, I feel like you need to, if you're gonna use the paper, keep the images simple. If you want a lot of images, keep the background simple. So this background is monochromatic. Maybe it's not simple per se, but it is monochromatic and more of a neutral. Um, it has last week's, Marsha, it has last week's PDF. Um, darn it, I changed that too. Did I not update it? Let me see. I thought I did. Let me come over here and see. Did I update? Hold on, let me check it. Maybe I didn't push update. Because, you know, fuzzy brain. Let me see, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, okay, try it now. It should work. It should work. I just hit update. Okay, four by five and a fourth soft suede. Here's your embossing paste. We have matte embossing paste and shimmer. This week we're using matte. This is um, press and seal that I push down in here when I'm done. And that way there's no air touching my embossing paste because this stuff will dry seriously like cement. I mean, you could like pave your driveway with this stuff um, and it will get hard in even in the container with the lid on. So um, this seems to do the trick. I just kind of want to press it into that. Um, th this is a palette knife. We sell these. They come in a pack of three different sizes. This is the one that I prefer to use. You can see I have stuff crusted on there um, because it, again, dries like cement and will not come off. It would probably make a really good adhesive. So this is also my silicone mat, uh, craft silicone sheet. I think it's what it's called. And I'm going to put two or three drops of soft suede ink in there. It's kind of a, eh, not, not really a pretty color, but... <laughs> um, for you know mixing it looks kind of weird and gross but but it's we needed a neutral you know uh, monochromatic background so that's why i went with soft suede it um is gonna really make those images pop off all right so mix it up it's like icing um it's very easy to do and then you're gonna get your mask and i put this on with just regular adhesive i um stuck it down onto my grid paper. I'll rip it up in a minute. It'll it'll be fine, even though it has adhesive on it already because nobody's gonna see the back of your paper. Okay, so tape this down. This is post-it. Oh, and I didn't, I, I use post-it tape a lot for all three projects and I meant to link it. Um, this mask I have found, I easily slip under the mask with this one. So make sure you tape it down on all four sides and then just go smoothly um, and slowly. Um, the times that I was kind of rushing uh, is when I slipped under the mask. So just kind of, you know, smear it on and go in one direction. And you wanna smooth it out as best you can. And I can see down here I don't have enough. So I'm gonna add some more. A little bit goes a long way. You, I probably have way too much. 
Um, the other thing I want to tell you is that as soon as you're done, you need to wash all three things, the mask, the silicone craft sheet, and your, um, pal your palette. No, what's this called? Palette knife. Okay. So then you've got it scraped. You don't want to leave any like blobs because they will dry like blobs, hard <laughs> blobs on your paper and that will not be pretty. Okay. So now normally when we use embossing paste at this point, we're done, right? Well, no, not today. We're going to turn it and we're going to make it plaid. So what you're going to need to do is take your mask and run. No, you don't have to run. Go to the sink and wash it, okay? For today, I had the forethought to be totally prepared. And I have a dish of water over here that I'm just gonna set that in. And I have another mask. I have two sets. So <laughs> I don't have to leave you guys and run to the sink. Another thing that I did, because you need to let this dry. And I was thinking it only took a couple of minutes to dry, but really it takes a good 10, 15 minutes to get really like solid. Um, so because of that, let me move this. I've done some ahead of time, okay? So let's pretend we've given it 10, 15 minutes, okay? And then we're gonna our, take our clean um, mask. Remember, we did it like this. Now we're gonna turn it like this, okay? You know, if you like just one way, then just do one direction. But I am always looking for a way to make plaid and gingham. So it's last week's, has last week's picture, the PDF on the website, but has last week's picture. Last week's, oh, oh, you mean, I know, I forgot. Okay, okay, I know what I did. So on my new blogger platform, I have to choose a, um, what do you call it? A spotlight image, you know, cause when you go to my blog now, it's just going to give you little thumbnails of each blog post. And so I have to pick a, um, spot, you know, whatever picture I want to be over there on that main page. And so each week for Facebook Friday, instead of starting from scratch, I copy last week's post and then change everything. So that's what I did. And that's why I forgot to change that picture. So now, thank you for telling me. I will go and fix it. Okay, so we turned the mask. And look, I pretty much had the right amount of embossing paste. I'm gonna scrape it. I don't want any chunky blobs. Okay, and then let's take a look. There we go. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> Do y'all's kids say that? My kids say it all the time. Oh, it's so satisfying. All right. So now, again, go clean all of this. I have a dish of water because I was, was thinking ahead on some things. And I'm going to set this in that dish of water so that I can clean it later. Okay. So now you're going to set that aside. Give it lots of time to dry. Do you guys like it? I think it's so pretty. I don't know. I just, I love making plaid. I think it's, oh, look, that looks gross. I, um, oh, great. Now paper towel's dirty and got me even more dirty. <laughs> I love making, um, plaid with, um, with stamps. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm going to need to go wash my hands. All right. Hold on. Hold, please. Let me get all this mud off of my fingers. It looks like mud we'll, we'll call it mud it looks like mud okay i think i'm good <laughs> okay and then look ta-da! it's dry not really this is one i did ahead of time okay so then you just peel it off your paper wow gosh i put a lot of adhesive on the back of that one and there you have it okay okay now let's do our stamping bring over our other pieces and we're going to I've already cut out the vellum label that is the that is from these dies the largest label and then we're going to do the I almost call them acorns the pine cones now funny 
enough. I found that I could not get these lined up. And then I just decided that they weren't meant to be lined up because they are kind of abstract, right? They are um, watercolor look. But then my friend Ange, you guys know Ange McKay, she said, um, Erica, stamp that top layer first and then stamp that second layer and they will line up. And then she said, but only on the larger image. It doesn't work on the smaller <laughs> image. They don't line up. Um, so I was like, okay, all right, so I'll try that. So that's what I recommend. It works. One is more solid, as you can see. That's the back image. And we'll do that second. Usually we do that first, but we'll do that second. So this one, the top image, I'm going to stamp in cinnamon cider. And you know what? I need my foam, my foam mat. Where's my foam mat? What is this one right here? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. All right, cinnamon cider on craft cardstock or craft paper. Then we're going to get, and I need a scrap paper. This time we're going to use cinnamon cider, but we're going to stamp off first. And then you can, and I'm going to have to pull this down. I don't know if you guys can see, but you can look and really see where those little windows line up, if that makes sense. But here's the other thing. I made several cards with them not lining up <laughs> at all. And the cards were just fine. They looked fine. So don't beat yourself up. Um, it'll, it'll, you know, it's abstract. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can try your Stamparatus, which is what I did, but I still couldn't get them quite perfect. So that makes me feel like they weren't designed to be puzzle pieces, right? All right, so there's that old olive on pear pizzazz cardstock. I am totally out of space today. I need this. Um, so we've got that. We've got our pine cones. We're going to cut. Um, I'm trying to think. Where's my white piece? Oh, right here. We're going to cut out a stem from this is um, the little six by six uh, paper pack that has rose gold and gold. Um, paper. It's very beautiful. It's very light. All right. So real red. We're going to use this sentiment. You guys remember this is from the warm, what's it called? Warm, no, in, encircled in warmth um, stamps that we did a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to mask off this little cluster of foliage <laughs> and let's see we're going to ink it in red do not forget to take your tape off because that will leave a mess on your paper all right now right in the middle we're going to cut this with one of those label dies but we're going to make it smaller which i'll show you in just a second let me get all my ink pads out of the way Let's bring over our cut and emboss machine with my new clean plates. Well, you see, this is just really from yesterday, um, making the clean recordings. There will be clean recordings of these. There are on YouTube. So if you want to come back and watch for details or whatever, without all the chit chat and the silliness of Facebook Live, you can do that. They are on my YouTube channel, as well as being linked. They are linked under today's photos. Okay, so there's that. And my craft paper is curled. Something about that paper, I don't know. It came, it was all curled. So my dies kind of balance themselves on there. If yours do that, use some of that post-it tape if you're concerned about them slipping. There we go. I was um, reading somebody's, I don't know, um, Instagram, whatever, and she had a party. And everybody brought their favorite things, you know, um, three of their favorite things, and then they exchanged. And I'm always thinking about what are my favorite things, and then would it be weird if I took Post-it tape to a party wrapped <laughs> as one of my favorite things? Because it really is one of my favorite things. I love it. And then 
chapstick. <laughs> I don't have very exciting favorite things. I don't know. Diet Coke. My, mine, I'd get off cheap. Okay, so we're going to use this big stem right there um, for that gold. Now, this is the one we're using. Obviously, it's way too big. So I'm going to start right here like that, okay? And then we'll run it through again in a minute. Delayed laugh. It's like I have a laugh track when I say something funny or I do something good. The hearts and the laughing come like a minute later. It's funny. I don't know why everything is so delayed on FB Live. I don't want to say it out loud. Okay, so see what we're going to do here? We're going to put this in for whatever size we want. We're just going to, if I can get that. You know what? Let me turn this over. Let's try it this way. My plate's already started to warp a little bit. All right, there we go. And we're going to run that through. You guys, my dogs got out this morning, all three of them, in the cold, dark night of 6 a.m. after my daughter left and my husband left for um, basketball practice. So I had to chase them down in the very dark, 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 <laughs> barefoot. Do, your, do you guys' dogs come when you call them? Like if I was to say, come here, you know. Matt, Charlie, Pepper, they just run faster away from me. And it is infuriating. So they're in the, the, the dog house today, I will say. They are in the dog house. I forgot a piece of paper. Let me grab it. Pepper was the worst. She thought it was a game. Matt comes back because he's a good boy. Aren't you a good boy, Mac? Matt came back. Charlie, I had to catch him, but Charlie's dumb. What I'm doing is I'm going to adhere this to another piece of the same color because the embossing paste makes this paper kind of curl up a little bit. You can see it doing it here. Um, so if I adhere it really good to this other piece, that will hold it straight, you know, straight. It won't curl up. Charlie is dumb. I'm telling you guys seriously, because every time he escapes and he's really the one that wants to like run. He wants freedom for some reason. Even though he was rescued from the street, you'd think he wouldn't want freedom. He'd want to live in the lap of luxury here in my house. Um, but he is dumb. He always is, when he leaves our house, he goes to the right, which is the cul-de-sac. And then he goes to the exact same yard every time. And so I can corner him and catch him every time. Um, Pepper, however, this was her first experience on the lamb, if you will. And she thought it was hilarious. And she was running away from me, ran, 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 far, 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 far. Finally, I was like, fine, forget it. You know, good luck to your sister. And I turned around to go back to the house because, again, barefoot, freezing cold. And she started following me. So now I, I have her number. If she, gets, if she escapes, I just ignore her <laughs> and walk away. Okay, so we put that on with dimensionals. I know some of you don't want to hear my dog stories, but sorry. Sorry. My college daughter is home. She came home yesterday wearing plaid bell bottoms. I kid you not that walked right out of 1975. It's that weird, like scratchy material. I'm like, what is happening? Those are horrible. <laughs> but of course she looked adorable. All right, we're going to put these on this vellum uh, label um, with dimensionals. The, the fashion right now, I hate it. I hate everything. They're back to, you know, like the 70s and the high-waisted jeans I don't like. And <sighs> my middle child wants her hair cut like Joan Jett. You guys remember Joan Jett from like the 70s, early 80s? And I just, I'm like, no, mm -mm. can't, can't do it. Sorry, friend. I just can't. That's what happens. You know, you're cool until until the the yucky fashions from when you were a kid. So when you grew up in the 90s, anything from the 70s was yucky. So now they want things from the 70s. Like they love thrift stores, which I find hilarious. They they want to get everything they own, all their clothes from the thrift store. I don't know. Kids these days. <laughs> 
All right, so we've layered all of that on there. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna get my Playful Pets ribbon. Where are my comments? Oh, there they are, they got frozen. <laughs> Marlena, yes. You know, it's that is staying alive that I would, wouldn't even hate that. The, I guess, what was that? That was a weird noise from in the other room and nobody's here. I don't know what they got into. Um, I, I took a picture of her. I, well, she'd probably be mad if I shared, but it, what is the, what is that scratchy material you guys that they would wear that like plaid scratchy material? <sighs> oh, what is it? I can't think of what it is. It's so ugly, 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 ugly. She's adorable, fine, she's cute, she can wear it, she's confident, whatever, but ugh. I don't know. Ugh. Gina, your dog does the same thing. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, once a dog gets the taste of freedom, once they get that taste of like, I'm free, running down the street, after that, that's it. They love it. Um, I'm hiding the dimensionals here on my vellum piece behind those pieces. And we're going to put that right there. Okay, Christine, I was thinking wool, polyester, Michelle, maybe polyester. Probably a wool polyester blend. Doesn't that sound lovely? <laughs> oh, disgusting. So gross. Okay, where did I put this? We're going we're gonna to do some stamping on the inside because this is a darker card base. And we want to be able to... Write a long, lovely message, right? <laughs> Super long, lots of lots of words. No, not me. I don't like to, to write lots of words. I want to say Merry Christmas, love, the our wins. And that's it. Um, scrap paper. We're going to do the exact same thing we did with stamp off, line up. Look at the top and the bottom to make sure. Oop, nope, mm, didn't do a good job. But you know what? It's fine, right? I'm sure from where you guys are sitting, you're not going to be like, oh, that looks terrible. Only I'm going to notice it. And maybe you, if I send you this card, maybe you would notice it. But most people would not notice it, right? And if they do, well, too bad. What is it? What's the saying? Handmade things are handmade. They're not designed to be perfect. Only, you know, things from like a machine or a computer are going to be made perfect. When you make things by hand, they're imperfect. And there we have it. What do you guys think? Is that embossing? Is that too much? <laughs> the turning, the washing in the middle? I think it's worth it. If you ask me, I think it's worth it. Now, do I want to make a hundred of those? Absolutely not. Of course, I don't want to ice a hundred cakes. I mean, a hundred cookies either. So, you know, maybe you like doing that, but not me. Okay. I'm glad you guys like it. Remember, embossing paste, if you are like, Erica, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. That's too much, too much work and it's messy. Try using um, your blending brushes. Um, with ink, when turning that mask and making making it plaid. I think it would work. I think it would work just as well. Okay, now card number two is, if I can find it, card number two is our mass production card. It's pretty easy. All right, so I made one pretty difficult card. <laughs> and then now we're just going to do an easy one. And look how cute. Now, here's that paper I was telling you about, the Painted Season Designer Series paper. It's designed to look watercolory. Let me pull a couple sheets out. Um, see, it's just very, like, painted, right? I mean, hello, it's called Painted Season, but it's just, you know, it's not... Um, real crisp images which is which is what it's designed to look like okay so when you use this paper you can see how busy it is here's another one I was going to show you this card at the end if you use a really busy pattern and put another really busy pattern with it and then put a whole bunch of stamped images it's going to be too much and I think that this 
suite of products ha lends itself to that problem because everything is so bold and, and vivid and beautiful and busy. So remember, if you're going to do busy, keep it simple in the front. Um, also, if you pick a busy pattern like this, then pair it with more of a geometric pattern or a monochromatic pattern. All right, so that's just my, those are just my tips. I like to keep it pretty simple. I like cards to not be crazy with a whole bunch of colors, um, but but that's just me maybe. All right, we're gonna stamp the little pine cones now, which and agrees with me, good luck lining them up. Don't even worry about it. They're not meant to be lined up. <laughs> you have permission to have them be imperfect, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing. Cinnamon cider, background, need my scrap paper. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like the dog stories. I mean, you when you work from home all day with three dogs, you have a lot of dog stories. You have you have a lot of dog stories. You know, I've never been mad at Pepper before. And today I was really mad at her. And she and I go for a walk every morning. Um, and she didn't go with me today. I went by myself. I was so mad at her. So I think she knows I'm mad. Charlie knew I was mad. He went outside and stood outside the doggy door, staring at me through the doggy door. He wouldn't come back in. <laughs> he knew he was in trouble. They know. They know. All right, this time I'm using Christmas to Remember, the sentiment. This is on the same page in the catalog with this one. They go really well together. And we're going to stamp this in real red. And we're going to use those weirdo dies that I told you that everybody's like, what the heck are those? We're going to use those on the on this card with this piece, okay? So let me move everything over. Chris from Australia, wow. Is it morning in Australia? I bet it is. I have a high school friend who lives in Australia now. I think that's really interesting. All right, now we're going to use, which one did we use? Look how many choices you have. You have little, it's like, you know, um, Goldilocks. Mama bear, baby bear, <laughs> papa bear, sister bear. I don't know. There's a lot of them, a lot of different sizes. This is a big set. Yesterday when I was posting about all the different dies on sale, I posted about the um, stitched rectangles. And I said, this is a really big set of dies. Because in my mind, that's there's a lot of stitched rectangles. There's 13 of them. But then after that, I was typing up some more posts about other die sets that had like 19 dies and uh, I can't remember. They were a, a lot more. So, you know, I guess this set's really big too. It feels like some dies are bigger sets than others. Did you guys shop the last three days? Did you like that sale? I thought it was really good. Um, one thing I can tell you is that Almost all of our cardstock is on back order now, <laughs> which means, and ink pads, which means we loved the sale and we bought cardstock and ink. Um, hopefully you guys were able to get those things, maybe do a little shopping for yourself. I know this time of year we're supposed to be shopping for other people, but I always have a hard time because things are on sale so good. So when I'm shopping for the other people, I always buy, I have to buy myself some things too. Okay, now we got our three little baby pine cones cut out. Now we've got these little weird dies that create the slots. This one is too big for this piece. We're gonna use these two little ones. And they are hard. I feel like I have a hard time handling them and maybe my nails that now have brown embossing paste under them. My nail lady is going to be like, what is that? <laughs> she always asks me, what do you do? And I say, well, I make videos with my hands. And she's always like, mm, okay. She doesn't get it. All right. So what I have found is that if I move these to get them perfect with my fingers, I bump them out every time. Um, I prefer to use my take your pick tool, but it's gone missing. I do not know where it went. So very carefully set that on there, run that through, and let's see how we did. 
Ta-da! See, it turns it like into a tag with the little ribbon slots. You can use those tags on any shape and turn it into a ribbon. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Okay, now we've got a garden green um, card base. Then we've got a four by five and a fourth inch piece of designer series paper. We've got another piece of this um, designer series paper. This is a great pattern too, because it's monochromatic. I really like monochromatic. Every time I say the word monochromatic, I think about Madagascar. If you have kids, you've watched Madagascar, I'm sure. And he calls the zebra his monochromatic friend. And my husband, that's one of his movie quotes he always quotes. So every time I say it, I think of it. <laughs> oh, my kids are past kid movies. I hate that. We're going to have to go see the Buzz Lightyear movie by ourselves, my husband and I. You know, there's a Buzz Lightyear backstory Pixar movie coming out. And we are on, oh, we are on board for that. Okay. Pretend I didn't do that. All right. So now <laughs> you have done this, right? You've matted this piece, real red, garden green. Now we're going to take this and we're going to use this ribbon, which I have hardly used at all. This is the art gallery fine art fine art ribbon from the annual catalog and i'm gonna go through here like this i'm gonna come around like that nope 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 do it differently hold on hold on hold on like this on the left side first then come out of this side okay Pull it, give yourself a lot of room, flip it over, grab your dimensionals. Um, hi, Michelle. Um, yeah, you know what? I should do that. You're right, Gina. I should show her a video. And Lisa, we watch Red Notice. Hey, it has The Rock and, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, we watched it <laughs> the first night. What's his name? Oh my gosh, he's, he's, um, oh gosh, he's in like every movie there is now. Um, what's his name? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I put the dimensionals on either side of the ribbon, put that down. We're going to tie the ribbon around. What is his name? Somebody's going to tell me. What's his name? He's so adorable. Oh, somebody's going to say it. I'm waiting. It's on delay. Ryan Reynolds. Thank you, Jennifer. Ryan Reynolds. I do enjoy me some Ryan Reynolds comedy. He is hilarious. And I enjoy The Rock as well. My husband gets mad whenever I want to see a movie with The Rock. I'm sorry. I think he's a great actor. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, Gal Gadot is in that movie too, and she is gorgeous. So, you know, he, you know, if I can watch that, he can he can see it and handle it too. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> All right, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, do you guys remember a long time ago he was in a movie called The Green Lantern? Was it The Green Lantern? And it was like a terrible movie. And then he got really famous when he was in that Sandra Bullock movie. What's that movie? You guys, it's so funny. Um, The Proposal. So funny. Okay, now we are to the end. We're almost done. We're going to take a dimensional and put that guy there and we're going to put these two guys on either side we've kept it very simple we didn't add a bouquet of images because our paper is very busy you don't want to do that and da -da, now wait a minute i didn't i put a piece of white inside i did but i don't know where my white piece is so pretend you have a piece of basic white Stamp your pine cones again. And this time, I don't know, maybe I would use the small ones because those big holly berries look a little goofy. I'm not sure. But anyway, and you probably, you could write on that. It's not too dark. All right, so there. I think those would make great mass-produced Christmas cards, right? I don't think that would take too long. It's not double embossing, double um, embossing paste. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, Ryan Reynolds at a parody of Antiques Roadshow. Okay, Deb, I have to find that. 
Free Guy was funny, Jennifer. My daughter, my youngest, who's now 13, says that's her favorite movie she's ever seen, Free Guy. <laughs> I was like, okay. I guess because it's about, like, YouTubers and gamers and, you know. It was, it was, it was a cute movie. Okay, we are down to the third project. Let me make a little bit of room here. Third project is, you know, a 3D, a 3D project right here. It holds a variety of candy. Sometimes I usually like to design my projects for a specific candy. However, I didn't really have anything on hand specifically for this. So I put just a variety of yumminess inside this little box. And see, we're gonna use those little dies again to run our ribbon around that box, okay? Okay, let's see, where did my foam mat go? Right here. The reason why I'm using a foam mat, you guys, and this is not stamping up, it's just something um, one of my customers gave me a long time ago. I don't even know um, where she got it. But you need a foam mat sometimes for your photopolymer stamps. Um, if your table doesn't have any give in it, when you stamp your photopolymer, sometimes there's like a bubble there. Um, it's the larger images usually. Over on my counter, I never have that problem. On this table, I have a problem every time. So if you have that problem with your clear photopolymer, um, let me make sure, is this the right piece that I wanted to do? Yes. Um, get a mat. You could, you know that fun foam at the craft store is like 25 cents. That will work. Um, just put something spongy. Also a piercing mat. Your mat from your stamparatus will work. All right, these holly leaves are garden green. The little branch and crumb cake. Look, it looks like it didn't stamp right, but that's the way it's designed. Remember, it's a little abstract, a little, little watercolory. Is that a word? Is my mom on here? <laughs> She's a watercolor artist. Is that a word? Um, watercolory. Here, I'm using that same uh, sentiment stamp set from um, Christmas to remember. I can't remember these names. Real red. Okay. Now we're going to cut those out, but we're also going to, let me get my other pieces. We are going to, I'm using a different pattern of designer series paper here. I've made two of them so far. I'm using different patterns from this pack because <laughs> for Facebook Friday, this is the same pattern as the one on that card over there. And I would have to buy like 10 packages of paper for that. So I thought, you know what? We'll use a variety of patterns. They all work. So this time we're using this one. I think this is one of my favorites in that pack. Um, I am going to adhere this to a piece of cardstock to cut out um, this label. Okay. And you'll see why in just a sec. We want our front to be this piece. Um, but if you did just the designer series paper, it would be too thin. So we'll cut it out. Whoa, I almost didn't do it big enough. We'll cut it out all together. Okay. And then we're going to cut another one out. So we've got a lot of cutting to do. And this, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Where's my, my mini cut and emboss machine? It's, I don't know where it's at. Hmm. I'm pretty confident this fits in the mini, correct? You guys, who has the mini? The mini cut and emboss. Um, I know all the rest of them will fit in your mini cut and emboss machine. I did some cleaning. You know how that goes when you clean and then you can't find what you cleaned because you cleaned so well, you put it somewhere that you can't find. All right, so we use the small sprig. We'll do that one right there. I feel like I'm way down low on the table. We will do this one. Oh, come on. Right there. Okay, now you guys, 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives coming soon, December 1st. Tell me, tell me what stamp sets you want me to do. And anything from the holiday catalog or any of the Christmas stuff from the annual catalog. Um, I don't want to double up on anything that I've used in Facebook Live before. So if I've, if I've used it in Facebook Friday, then we're not going to use it again. Now, if I've used it for a class, like Frosted Gingerbread, definitely going to do that again. Um, uh, because we, oh, man, that slipped. 
we, where's my take your pick tool? I don't know where it went. Let's see if I can, <clears throat> nope. Um, hold on, stay. Goodness, so much trouble. Um, Frosted gingerbread is what we are using for our retreat projects. So I haven't used it for Facebook Friday yet. So we'll definitely do that. Why am I having, why am I on the struggle bus today? Okay, come on, line up, get in your place. Okay. Don't move, hold your breath. Okay. Um, so you guys tell me, and I knew Patricia, I knew the first one that I was going to see was Peaceful Cabin. I, Anne Marie and I were just talking about Peaceful Cabin. See how that cut all the same? Actually, look at that. It was a little bit too small. Um, I told Anne Marie, she said, have you used Peaceful Cabin yet? I said, no. And I said, but I'm getting tons of requests for Peaceful Cabin. Okay. I will use Peaceful Cabin. Even though I'm telling you guys, it, I, I something about that set, I don't know. It's like not my normal style. So I feel a little nervous to use it but I think I can do it challenge accepted Patricia challenge accepted <laughs> okay so now we're gonna cut this one out let's see how did I do it um yeah okay like this now move it over the die so the sentiment is more on the right side so we can put our little cluster of goodies on the left side the knit together Ashley okay okay that one intimidates me too <laughs> everything is left of the things that intimidate me um let's see time of giving joy which one is that i don't recognize that name time of giving be jolly oh yes be jolly for sure chris penguin oh my gosh that stupid penguin punch is never coming in i think it's stuck on the boat in the pacific um you know the penguin punch you guys have been has been on back order I mean, forever. And they keep pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back, which tells me that it's stuck somewhere, um, you know, because of all the shipping delays that we're having. But yes, I want to use that penguin before, before it's gone. Um, let's <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. She says, I know you're up to it. Let's see. Um, I'm reading, I'm reading. Peaceful Cabin, Peaceful Cabin. Oh my gosh, Anne-Marie, if she's still on here, I'm going to have to do it. They want the Peaceful Cabin. All right, now this time we're using the, the little straight slots, okay? With a cutout Santa sleigh snowflake. Is that in the annual catalog, Joy? Time of, time of giving, time of giving. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. I'm going to look. I can't I can't think of it so now this I find difficult because it's hard to see with the the busy pattern it's hard to tell if I got those straight on there but don't worry too much about it because they will be covered up by the ribbon anyway and if they're slightly crooked again nobody's looking they're looking at the candy <laughs> only you will be looking at the slot for the ribbon Boy, you guys have a lot of things. Okay, Joy, I'm stopping right now. I got to look at it. Time of giving. Is that what you said? Time. Time of giving. Is it a bundle? I mean, I've only looked at this catalog a billion times. Time of giving. The wise men. What about the wise men, you guys? I love the wise men. Uh, time of giving. Joy, where is it? Tell me what page, Joy. I don't know. Is it back in the back? Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. She's talking about this one. I blocked it, Joy, out of my mind. <laughs> but yes, I want to use that one. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, see where we did the slots on there, you guys? All right, you guys are giving me lots of, lots of, um, lots of, um, good suggestions. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to need to use our Simply Scored, if I can locate it. 
You guys, you know how I put this dish of water over here for my embossing paste stuff? You should see the water. It's disgusting. <laughs> Soft suede was probably not the best choice. All right, you're gonna need a piece of cardstock, real red. This is on the PDF, second page, right here. Two and a half by seven and a half, okay? We're gonna score it at half an inch and at two. Then we're gonna turn it on the long side and do two and a half and five. This part of your box is not gonna be seen at all. So don't worry too much about it. Um, it's just kind of the guts of your box, if you will. We're gonna just make it into like a U shape. All right, I'm actually gonna cut a little V right there. My stomach is growling. I hope you guys can't hear that. Get these out. Doot, doot. Okay, now you can use whatever adhesives you want. I'm gonna just use um, stamp and seal because it's quick and it's right here. I really think our stamp and seal is good for 3Ds. Have you guys had any experience with 3Ds falling apart when you use stamp and seal? I find it works pretty well. All right, so I've put adhesive on all three tabs on both sides and I'm just gonna fold this up and make like a U shape, okay? Boy, comments are going past. I can see them and I will come back and I will read them in a minute or tonight or whatever. What else are you guys watching? I need some suggestions. We're kind of in a we're kind of in a holding pattern. Ted Lasso, if you haven't watched Ted Lasso, my friends, you need to watch it. And Outlander, the new Outlander book comes out on Tuesday. So, you know, I love me some Outlander. That show comes back on in January, I believe. Yellowstone, do I have any Yellowstone fans? We love Yellowstone. It's like a bad accident watching Yellowstone. <laughs> Can't look away. All right, so I've put that down. So it's gonna sit like this. See, I mean, you're really not gonna see this box. And then for this, when you do the second half, put it like this so that, whoops. Oh, it looks like it's upside down. I know the pattern probably doesn't matter. Um, so that they're both, both the legs are going to be, you know, if I can get it. Come on. Come on. Why am I struggling with this today? Let's try it. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Okay. So there's your box. And you know what? Look. <sighs> do you see what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the ribbon slots on this one. It's not gonna work without the ribbon slots. All right, it can be saved. It can be saved. If I had used tear and tape, it might not have been able to be saved or stamp and seal plus, but because I was being lazy, it can be saved. All right, we gotta put the ribbon slots on this piece too. Did that just, oh, whew, thought that just like spun to the side. I was like, that's not gonna be able to be saved. All right, again, these are super easy to lose. Put them away, put them away, where they go. Okay, now come back, put it back on. Is it even? Yes. Okay, see, crisis averted. All right, so there we've got our box. Now, you're gonna get your ribbon, and I am using the Real Red, ooh, look at that. I'm using the Real Red Sheer Ribbon from the Holiday Catalog. And I'm just gonna thread that through these little slots right here. Hallmark Christmas movies, Lisa, I just can't get into them. I've tried, I, I just, they, you know, I know that people love them, I just, they just don't do it for me. I know, I know, I don't know what's wrong with me. I wish, I wish I loved them. And then there are some movies on Netflix that are very like Hallmark Christmas movies. And I watch them and I'm like, okay, this is Hallmark-ish. <laughs> okay, now, 
you know what? I wanted to put the bow on that side. So let's just slide it over. What time is it? My daughter's going to be home at, at 3.15. Bow. Put your tag right there. Take your holly. And I think, you know what? Do I have many dimensionals? I lost my whole um, little, I have a little adhesive tray. The whole thing fell back behind the table and I haven't <laughs> taken the time to dig it all out. All right, so we're gonna put our holly. That looks like, well, I guess either way will work. Okay. Some holly like that. Then we'll put some, these holly berries. I wanted to tell you about these holly berries. There is a stem in the stamp set that the holly berries will line up. So if you, no, no, this one. If you stamp that, the stem, then you stamp those berries, they will be exactly where they are meant to be. And then there's a die for those right here. See that die? So when I made this project the first time, I actually used that die to cut the berries out and then I just trimmed around it. But little did I know, look, they have a die for just the berries. Who knew? So smart. All right, so you can use the berries on the stem or you can use the berries off the stem. I do like Virgin River. I will agree with that one. Yes, that didn't feel very hallmarky to me. Well, maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Okay, there's your box. Super duper easy. Um, I don't have my candy, so we'll let's put some candy in here. I have one of these, Dollar Tree, if you can find them. There's a story there that I will tell you later. These Hershey Santas from Target. These Loker Minis, I think that's how you say it. Have you guys had these? I ordered them one time from um, Shipped. Is that what it's called? Shipped, where they will ship $49. It's like a, you know, like a Sam's Club online. And I saw those and I was like, what are they? I ordered them. They are awesome. So I send them sometimes in class kits and stuff because they don't melt. But anyway, that's what that is. You can also get them on Amazon. And then I found the gingerbread. Um, are these the gingerbread? No, I found the gingerbread Kit Kat. So you better believe we're going to be using gingerbread Kit Kats with our frosted gingerbread. Sweet. Next week after next. Next week? No, week after next. Okay, there you go. What do you guys think? Easy peasy, right? I think it's pretty easy peasy. All right, we made it. No major disasters. I mean, maybe a few minor disasters, but nothing major today. No dogs barking. No doorbells ringing. You think Virgin River is so Hallmark? I feel like Virgin River is a little more edgy than Hallmark. Hallmark is just too soft around the edges. Everything's just like so perfect. But Virgin River, there's some drama there. There's some, uh, some violence. I mean, not that that's what I'm looking for, but I'm just saying it's a little more exciting than what I've experienced. <laughs> okay, let's see. So here are those three. Here are these three. If you would like one of each of these in a make it take kit, I will send them to you next week for free with a minimum $35 order. Um, use that host code, please. Um, Monday at midnight is a cutoff. I will cut and ship them on Tuesday. No, I will cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. On Monday, I have, Monday and Tuesday, I have two more projects to show you on my blog. There won't be videos, but there will just be ideas for you to use your Christmas season. Look, it's like a whole class right there. All right, so let's see. What do I need to tell you guys? Next week, there will be no Facebook Friday. I'm taking the week off. Well, partially. Um, so no Facebook Friday next Friday. We will be back in session December 1st, which is a Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that first week of December, every day at two. Um, so mark your calendars for that. Um, those kits, remember, I've got extra kits. If you didn't, if you weren't here in the beginning, I've got extra kits of this uh, Be Jolly class to go. Stamp sets on back order. So if you need the stamp set, might be questionable whether you want to do it or not. But you can email me, ask me about it. Um, and then this one, the Jolly Wishes. 
um, I'm not Dolly Wishes, the, I say that every time because I read the stamp set, the Pillow Box, pretty Pillow Box, Christmas Treats, class to go. That, I have extra kits of that as well. Wow, look, everything's just falling apart. Um, and the, this ribbon's on back order till next week, and I actually ordered it, but it's, you know, it's on back order. So, when it gets here, then I can ship them all out. Um, what was I going to tell you? Anyways, if you want this class, reach out to me. I have, I may have, no, I don't. I don't know. If you want one or two of these classes, just email me. We'll talk about it. I'll let you know the time frame, whether you want it or not. And that's a wrap. You guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you get some rest. I hope you get some shopping done. And I hope you get to spend time with your family. All right, you guys, I will see you December 1st. Bye, everybody.